Oh, I'm already about to cry. What the hell? What the hell? Anyway. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Lo. I am Maribel Agnes, previously known as Maribel Agnes. That made me feel so weird. What? I then started making music under the name Maribel, and now I make music under the name Vataborn. <laughs> So I've got like five different personalities, but who doesn't, right? Actually, don't answer that. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because I feel like I owe people an explanation as to why I deleted all of my videos. It's probably been like 10 years now since I deleted my entire life off of the internet. People were very confused. People still ask me about it today, and I, I feel like it's time that I actually talk about it. So if you don't know who I used to be, I used to make YouTube videos, I would upload covers of me singing, I used to vlog and just make stupid videos too. I had over 150,000 subscribers, collectively I had over like 15 million views and I toured the world, I played shows and yeah, I had a lot of success as a kid on just from making YouTube videos and it's just me on the internet being myself and people watched me and it freaked me out. <laughs> so the biggest thing that a lot of people knew but didn't really acknowledge was that when I first started making YouTube videos, I was 14 years old. Like my first video was uploaded, I was 14 years old. I was still in high school. I was a baby and I continuously uploaded videos up until I was 19 years old and then I deleted everything. Oh, I'm getting nervous trying to talk about it but because I was a kid it was such a scary thing to navigate being so young and being watched as I grew up. I made a lot of mistakes because I was a child and I would never hear the end of it on the internet and I had people follow me, as in stalk me, they would come to my school and I would get things like I would get letters in my mailbox at home which I lived with my family. I'm not a rich girl, I was in the suburbs, like I, I didn't, I wasn't famous so I just didn't feel safe. Also because a lot of people didn't want to recognize my age and it's the internet. I was heavily sexualized as a 14 year old kid. I had a song with Timothy De La Ghetto and Jay Rise with all, all these musicians at the time and all the comments were just about my boobs. And I was 14 years old or 15, but that's not that's wrong, it's weird, and all those things just kind of stayed with me, all those comments, all those people, they kind of just followed me around and would comment on all of my things, and as I grew older, of course my body and my face started to change, and people did not like that, <laughs> and having a pretty heavy following on social media and people not liking the way that I'm changing and growing up I honestly wouldn't wish those comments on anybody <laughs> oh. oh you know I would just get so many comments about my weight and I'm lucky that I've got thick skin and that's my youtube videos were definitely a massive part of me being as strong as i am today but as a kid on youtube who's just uploading videos for fun and for people to tell you that oh you're getting ugly or you're getting fat is really intense and it wasn't like one little comment it would be like hundreds although my life on youtube was doing that um I am thankful for where it took me in my life 
as a musician and I've probably signed like I have signed five deals in my life but it never got any easier <laughs> the same things that would happen in my youtube comments started happening in my real life and i would literally be at a photo shoot or at a video shoot with people telling me to my face that i don't look good my i look fat i should suck my tummy in and it was just so fucked like it was a really unhealthy business for me to be in so yeah the biggest reason as to why i deleted all of my videos was because i was ashamed and i let people make me believe that i wasn't pretty or i was fat or like fat isn't even a fucking bad thing now that i'm grown grown up like what the hell but i deleted my videos because i was scared of those comments and i was scared to see myself in that way there was a point in my life where i started surrounding myself with healthier things and i decided you know what i'm actually really fucking beautiful i'm so hot i'm so pretty my body is amazing as is whatever my body looks like it's beautiful and every time i would look at those videos it took me back to being 14 years old again and hating myself it got so bad to a point where i was reporting videos <laughs> that people would re-upload of mine um i just didn't want to see it and i stopped replying to comments and messages even people who had nice things to say i really let the negative things <laughs> take over me and it's really taking me these 10 years for me i'm 26 now about to be 27 but it's taken me this long to f come back to who i am and look back on those videos and not be ashamed of the things that i did i am so proud of myself as a 13 year old kid for accomplishing so many things and i'm so proud of myself and I have a lot of you to thank. There are even times at my shows now as Vettel Born where people who used to watch my YouTube videos come through and they talk to me about my videos and I'm like, oh my god, like what? Like, what are you talking about? There was even one time I was in Sweden. I was on the other side of the world and someone started crying <laughs> at the counters because she used to watch my videos as a kid and i was like holy shit like i'm on the other side of the world and it's been like six years since i deleted those videos like how do you even remember my face like what <laughs> i didn't realize how big of an impact i had on some people's lives just by uploading some videos of me being silly or me doing what i love and i didn't realize that i was a part of people's childhoods and i took that away and i'm sorry for doing that but anyway to round off i haven't stopped making music that's the one thing that i've never stopped doing and i'm never gonna stop doing i think it's literally my calling in life and i'm so passionate about it and i'm never gonna lose that love for creating music so if you want to follow my journey now as vertel born then please do and I'll see you there and if not then I hope that this video gives you some closure as to why I removed those videos maybe one day they'll be back up again I don't really know um, but thank you regardless for following my journey and believing in me and supporting me and making me who I am today bye I don't even remember how to turn. I don't even remember how to end a video. Bye! <laughs> you see that girl right there? That's me, Maribel Nez. I'm just a typical teenage girl who eats, sleeps, 
and dreams. Dreams big. Many find it hard to believe that I'm only 15 years old as I can produce, write, and sing my own songs. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always dreamed of performing in front of thousands of people. And that's what I'm about to do. Right now. I wanna be so